What is the most hidden base that you can make in Bloxburg? Well, since Bloxburg is going free, I want to find out. So today, I'm going to be making every single base that I can think of in Bloxburg for you guys to have. Let's get right into it. The first base I have for you is the carpet trick. Basically, what you do is you make a basement, and then you also have a carpet on top of it. So if you use a simple carpet here, you're going to want to resize it or place multiple carpets so that way it covers up your hole, right? You can place a floor right here so that way you can place the carpet on top of it. And then once you're done with that, you just go into the basement and you delete the floor. And then let's say you're making it the color of your grass, you can just go to camo, go to lush grass, and then whenever you walk over said carpet, you fall right into the trap or your hidden base, whatever you want to use it for. And yes, that was super easy, but I'm also going to be leveling up in this video until we can get to the most advanced secret bases that you can think of. So stay tuned for those. Next up, we have the flush secret door trick. So let's say you have like a mountain on your house. If you're painting these walls like slate, for instance, and maybe you just got like a mountain landscaping or something like that. If you go into the doors category and you type in flush, it actually will pop up a flush secret door. You can actually paint this the slate color and it blends in pretty well, I'd say. And then you just walk on up to it and boom, that's a secret door right into your new secret base. Now, next up, let's say you have an office or something just like this. And if you go to the doors category and you type in secret bookshelf, you can actually place a bookshelf right over here. And this will actually be a secret door. A good way to disguise this is making sure that you go to your storage category and you place a real bookshelf right next to it. So let's say I have two traditional bookshelves right next to each other. They probably won't suspect a thing. But then if I walk up to the one on the right and I press open, I can go into my new secret room and just chill in my toilet. Okay, maybe you can make a better base on that. Now this next one is actually a very effective yet underused technique. So basically back in the day, back in like 2018 or so, whenever the game was first getting started, people used to do this all the time where you'd have a mountain just like this and then you would go and make a waterfall. So by painting this like, I don't know, like a light blue or something, and then you'd have a pond right next to it, right? But whenever you place the water, it actually goes onto the other side of this wall here. So let's say you make a tunnel on the other side just like this, and then you have like a little bit of a walkway with a flooring that you can make here. Well, as long as you didn't place any floor over the water, you can actually swim underneath the waterfall and go straight into this tunnel over here, which then can take you to your new secret base. And if you decorate around this pond pretty well, people won't suspect a thing. Now this next one here is a bit more challenging. So let's say you have a house and you got like a nice tall roof on it. I don't know, maybe you got like a door and some windows and stuff like that. So people are gonna be thinking like, oh, we gotta break into your house, right? Well, if we place a pine tree, right next to your house, you can actually climb on the pine tree and get onto the roof. And you're probably thinking, why would I want to go on the roof? Well, let me show you. If we place walls over here and over here, and then we place a basement down below, and then we put a floor covering up our basement on the inside of our house, we can actually jump onto this pine tree right here. And then once you're on the pine tree, you can jump onto the roof, and then you can jump all the way down this chimney into your new secret base. And assuming you give it a nice paint job, people really won't suspect a thing. Now this is a very underrated build mode technique, but if we go into the hatches category, there's actually a hidden sliding trapdoor and a hidden folding trapdoor. You can place either of these on the ground, and just like the carpet trick, you can paint them the color of your grass, and this one actually blends in a lot smoother. Assuming you have a basement underneath here, you can just make your basement, cover it up with a floor, and this one actually, if you click on it, it doesn't show open, so people won't really suspect it, but if you walk over it, you slide right on in. The only problem is you better have a ladder to make sure you can get out because, well, I really can't get out of here and that's not good. Now this next one's actually pretty good for your interior. So let's say you're making stairs. If you use the deck stairs, they're actually hollow underneath. And then and let's say you place a wall coming out like this. You can actually make a really cool design out of this. Just go to your cubes, resize them over here to the edges, expand it up some, and then you can place a vertical wedge on here. And then by using the secret flush door, you can walk over to your staircase, open this, and then boom, you're underneath the stairs. You can maybe even make another secret staircase down below to go down to your secret bunker. Now this one is also in the hatches category, and this is a pretty typical one, but if you do use the wooden cellar doors, and then you just place the basement underneath, and then wherever your cellar doors come in at, you just place walls, place some stairs so that way you don't fall right on down here. You can just walk on over here and open this, and, and boom, you're in. This one is a little bit more obvious, but it also is more realistic and a nice addition to your house. Maybe by using this and combining some of our other techniques, you can actually make two secret rooms in one. Now this next one is for pretty advanced builders, but let's say you want to make a vaulted ceiling. You can use the deck stairs as a quick alternative to make vaulted ceilings just by placing them on the edges like this. And then if we go to our hatches category and place one right there, making sure we place floor around the hatch and we don't have the hatch on a floor. And then we place some sort of ladder here underneath. We can just open up the hatch, 
and get into an attic. But since a ladder is pretty obvious, I would advise doing something different. Maybe by placing a large oak bookshelf, and then you climb up the large oak bookshelf, you open up the hatch, and you can walk on up here. And boom, you pretty much have a secret attic up here, assuming you can blend in the sides here of basic shapes. Also, you do have a weird X mark here. But if you want a tutorial on how to make custom roofs, I do have one of those on my channel for you. You can go watch that after you're done watching this video. All right, that was it for our easy bases. Now it's time to move on to some of our medium ones. So this one is very expensive, yet very, very secret. So again, if you have a mountain, and then you place a car, like the Bloxus TS over here, make sure you're standing very far away from your car whenever you get into it. So if I stand over here and click use, I can get in my car, right? Well, then you're gonna wanna park the car right up against this wall, and whenever I get out of the car, it'll put me on the other side of this wall. The only problem is, the only way to get out of here is if you have another vehicle on this side. So that's why it's pretty expensive. And what sucks is whenever you use this technique with like a bike, it actually does not work. So I think Bloxer might have done that intentionally to make the secret base very secretive. But if you're trying to hide from the new players, well, don't worry, they won't have the money to buy those cars. So that's the advantage you have against them. Well, let's say you guys have a closet made just like this one. Yet again, if I go to my flush secret doors and I place it on this back wall, if I actually press T on my keyboard, it'll allow me to place the door higher. Now, if I walk on over to my closet and I jump on in here and I press open, I'm into my new secret base, which even has a cool little mini fridge. Okay, I might have added that one, but you guys can get that. Well, by using the same flush door technique, if you actually have a kitchen just like this and you press T, you can run on over to your kitchen, press E for open, and walk straight through into this haunted room. You can actually give this pumpkin here a nice hug. Okay, maybe not that, but hopefully you can come up with a better base than I can. This one's pretty effective though, because nobody's gonna expect it in your kitchen. Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. So hopefully that one works for you. This one might be the most overpowered one though. See, in the game, we actually have these thin showers here, like the traditional shower set. Well, if we place our flush door first, and then we go to plumbing and we place one of our shower sets, we can actually place a shower in front of the door. And then let's say I'm taking a shower, nobody's gonna really expect me to have a secret base right behind it. And if I just squeeze on through here, I'm into my new secret base. How cool is that? Now this next one's also rather unexpected, but let's say in your garage layout, you want to design your floor. Well, make sure you leave a nice hole in the center there, and then you place a car on top of this center spot here, like your blocks is TS. And then you place a carpet underneath said car, and then you go to your basements and you make the hole. Well, the good news is, is that the only way this works is if you drive your car out of here. But the one main problem is the fact that since you have a hole here, you have to make sure that the hole is actually tiny enough for you to fit in. So I would leave one patch open. I'm going to leave the patch open in this corner right here. And then once I drive my car away, I can walk over this carpet here and boom, I'm in my new secret base. The only problem is that if somebody respawns your car, uh, good luck getting out of here. Yeah, that's not good but you can get inside of your car and just drive away, I guess. Now, if you guys thought that last one was good, this one is even better. If we make a design for our dining table, and if we use something like the arched dining table, then we have a dresser nearby and a hole underneath. Then if I go over to the dresser and change myself into a baby, I can actually crawl into this carpet space. And if you have a dresser down here to change yourself back into an adult, this is perfect for you. That's it for our medium bases, and now it's time to get into the advanced ones. If we come back over to the kitchen here and we actually make a custom fridge. And you're probably wondering, how in the world are we going to make a custom fridge? Well, if we go to the traditional secret bookshelf door, place that on our wall here, while also making sure that we have cabinets to cover it up. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to design a replica of this fridge. So to do that, just bring the fridge on out here, put the basic shape right in front of it to get the exact width, put it right next to it to get the exact length, and then to get the front of our fridge, I can actually place another one of these on top of the fridge and scale it down, paint it that same color. If I use small square beams, I can actually make the handles of the fridge. And then by transforming these closer together, that works out pretty well. So then you're going to place this fridge on top of your bookshelf, scale this all the way down, and bring it out some. And if you want, you can even use this cabinet here to kind of cover up that fridge to make it look even more realistic. And then whenever you walk up to the fridge, you'll see that it has an open technique here. So you just open it and walk straight in. How cool is that? Nobody is going to expect it to be behind a fridge, bro. Nobody. The only problem is now you don't have a fridge. So good luck figuring that out. Now, since we have a bookshelf over here, if we actually go to the basic opening section and make a wall that's like this, by using said basic opening, we can resize this down. And then we can put this really close down to the floor, close enough to the point where an adult can't go through it, but a baby can. 
And a good way to cover that up is by just painting these privacy blinds the color of your wall. And then you just close them down like that, which I get it doesn't look the most realistic, but it still works because then you just walk up to it, open it, and boom, you're in your new secret base. Now this next one's been kind of forgotten about, but if you use the roller garage door, and you place this garage door, let's say like along the side of a mountain, that garage door pretty much blends in. If you place an automatic sensor there, you can actually have it open whenever you drive in front of it. And this is kind of my bat cave secret entrance because it's pretty quick to get into and then you drive past it and it closes. You could even have it ramp down into a basement and an entirely secret layer down there. And those were all of the secret bases that I could think of. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye, everybody.